All right, guys. Well, uh, we're out here in the shop today, and uh, we're going to change the camo out on this recurve here. So let's go. This is the uh, vinyl here that I'm going to be using. Um, I also did a, a turkey gun a few years back, and I'll show you a picture of that right now. But yeah, here's the vinyl. First thing you're going to need to do is, uh, if you're using a recurve, you're going to have to disassemble your recurve, take it down, unstring it. And then uh, you're also going to need uh, razor blades. Preferably new ones. I got a couple new ones in here. That top one's not a good one because you're going to want a you're going to want a nice, fresh, clean cut coming down this thing. And uh, I'll show you why here in a minute. All right, and as you can see, this isn't just for recurves. I did it to uh, my compound a couple years back. It, uh, turned out pretty good. Stuff's waterproof, works pretty nice. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do if you're using a uh, doing this with your recurve is uh unstring it take the limbs off um i'm not gonna do my riser just because i like it that buckskin color but uh i'm gonna do my limbs here and then i'm also gonna be uh doing this uh tight spot quiver here as well so we will get after that here all right so the first thing we're gonna do here is uh remove the old stuff this stuff's pretty magical man i mean it sticks really good they say when you put it on your car you can take it through car washes and stuff but uh it sticks to itself it comes off easily and uh for as durable as it is and it's waterproof it doesn't come off you can really take it off really easily and you can stick it to itself and you can even you know put it back down and it sticks just just like it did Limb here. I got no damage to my limb whatsoever. That stuff sticks good, but it also leaves no residue. It's not sticky. Nothing. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this limb right now. I could just, just shoot it just like this. There's no stickiness. And dirt's not going to stick to it if I take this in the woods. I don't know how uh, Mossy Oak does it, but they do it good. You can get that stuff at uh, Mossy Oak Graphics. But uh, if you just Google whatever camo pattern you wear, whether that's real tree or cryptic or, you know, whoever. Basically, everybody pretty much makes a vinyl now. You might have to get it on Etsy or, you know, some I don't know, some kind of... Some places make it, some places don't. That might not be exactly from Team Real Tree, but it'll be the Real Tree pattern. Or whatever pattern you're looking for. But, uh, yeah, this stuff... This stuff's pretty amazing. I love it. I like it because uh, 
I changed, that's not, that's from the paint on my riser. That's not from the mossy oak. But, uh, yeah, I like this stuff because, uh, mossy oak makes about, like, 20 of these different patterns. Any pattern mossy oak has, they make. And, uh, I change my mind so often. I've had this bow for, like, two or three years now, and I've probably put four or five different camo patterns on it. So, you know, instead of rattle cannon and ruining your limbs and, you know, I'm, I changed my mind too much. I would be, my bow would be 14 pounds full of paint by the time I got done fixing what I wanted to do. And, you know, I just changed my mind so much. And you can get this all different sizes too. So it's pretty cheap. All right. So here's one limb done. Taken apart. No stickiness, no nothing. The only thing I would recommend is maybe wiping this down before you put it on initially, just so there's nothing on here, so it might stick a little better, you know, you don't have a piece of dirt or something. But, uh, yeah. Now we'll move on to this one. I don't can my riser. This riser was originally black, and, uh, I rattle canned it, but this part right here, where my limb fits into... Like that that's what's giving that little brown color right there I did shoot this with uh, just black limbs for a little bit okay this next part here I'm gonna try to get on film but if you can't see all I'm doing is cutting about a three inch strip down this thing here so I'm actually gonna flip it inside out and uh, I'm not sure what marks these are right here inside Mossy Oak Graphics, but uh, a recurve limb fits perfect right there. And will give you plenty of room left and right to play with if that's how wide you cut it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it right along those little star little thingies and... That'll be the first one. This will be, uh, this piece I cut here, I'll definitely put that one on the inside because, uh, I want those, uh, those leaves on the outside, like I said, so... All I would do here is just line it up and lay it on there. You'll have plenty of room. We'll do that here now. <laughs> okay, and uh, here's a little trick I like to do so you're not messing with the whole piece of stickiness. I like to just take a little bit like this. That way, this here is the only sticky part I got. So... I'm going to line this up. Like, like right here, I just put it on really crooked. It don't matter. This stuff peels right up. Stays sticky. You can line it up again. And then lay it down. And, uh... That's how it's going to sit. I like that. So, now all I do is I just flip it. I'll pull the rest of that off. And I'll run it down it. And then, uh, I only do it up to the to the string grooves right here. I don't know if you can see the string grooves here. But I don't mess around with it too far up in there. I might go a little bit farther than I usually do and just try it out. You can always pull it off and trim it. Stuff sticks right back on itself. So I'm just going to take it up here. We're going to go to about right here. 
And I'm just going to cut it straight across. And that's that. It's in there. Kind of run my fingers in that groove. Get that thing in there nice. You can use a blow dryer if you want and make it stick and stretch it and get all the wrinkles out, but it also comes with a smoother, but I find I can just do it with my fingers just fine with this. There's no wrinkles on my recurve, you know, something like I'm hitting corners or something. And now you need uh, the razor blade. Keep that angle on there. You gotta move and readjust, it's not a big deal at all. All right, here is uh, both sets of limbs here. line up pretty good because uh I wanted these leaves on the on the top on the outside of the bowl and uh I wanted this on the inside because I hunt from the ground so I'd rather a little bit of leaves sticking up than uh and tree bark which technically it wouldn't make a difference it's basically just uh my personal preference and aesthetic look but uh yeah, there they are. Turned out pretty good. Now, uh, we're going to get after this, uh, this tight spot quiver here and, uh, see what we can do here. All right, well, I was kind of looking through, uh, this whole area here and seeing, uh, what part I want on a quiver. And I think I'm going to put uh, this area right here mainly. I like the mossy oak breakup symbol, little brown leaves, some sticks and stuff. So I think uh, I think that's what I'm going with here. So I'm going to cut this piece out and uh, start doing the quiver. All right, so here we are. This is the piece I want and the spot I want it. So... Like I said, you can just lift and place this however you like. It comes up, it goes back on pretty easily. Now I'm going to try to do this without a, a blow dryer, but I might end up uh, going inside and getting the wife's old hair dryer. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to because see these wrinkles and stuff. But, uh, yeah, you just apply heat to this, and it stretches pretty easily, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll show you when I'm done. All right, well, uh, see if I can't back it up a little bit of focus. All right, here's the uh, tight spot quiver. I went in, I had to hit it with the blow dryer a little bit, and it just makes this stuff stretch so you can get all the wrinkles out. But, uh, yeah, I think that turned out... Uh, Turned out pretty good. That's how I wanted it with, uh, so you can see the words mossy oak break up. And I like that leaf on there. I think that looks pretty cool instead of just a straight tree bark. So, yeah, it turned out pretty good. You know, it's not perfect, but, uh, I think it looks pretty cool. So, here's the, uh, finished products. The uh, tight spot quiver. I didn't do nothing to the riser. Just and then uh, there's the limbs. So uh, I think it turned out pretty cool. I enjoy it. I changed my mind a lot, so I love this vinyl. You know, I can 
I can change this mossy oak camo on the limbs and on my tight spot to any other camo I want whenever I want, you know. You're not you're not stuck with a rattle can job or anything like that. So I enjoy it. I'm gonna be rocking this old school uh breakup this year, so make it all match. Looks pretty cool. Alright guys, uh thanks for watching. Uh if you can uh like, subscribe, and uh stay tuned for more and I'll see you in the woods.